YouTube. My name is Mesa Sean, and we are back at it with some Destiny 2. All right, folks, time to go over the weekly reset for the week of November 27th. This is the beginning of Season of the Forge, Season 5. Black Armory will be available next week, December 4th, if you own the annual pass. Let's get into this week's weekly reset and all the new activities to do. So the first thing that I want to cover in this weekly reset is Eververse. And this may sound silly, but Eververse has a ton of new things that comes along with the Season of the Forge. We'll grab that in a second here. So we have these new engrams called the Etched Engrams, and we also have something you could buy here for silver, which is the Ignition Bundle, where you get yourself five Etched Engrams. Let me know if you want me to do a video, a cliche of me opening up a bunch of those, I will buy them. All right, Prismatic Matrix. So we've got some new stuff here. We've got a new Sparrow here called the Burnout, and let's see what you look like. All right, that has flames in it, and I like the way it looks. Next up, what else we have? We have a new ornament for the Ace of Spades right here. Let's see what you look like. All right, <laughs> we have a little bird on there, his little feathered friend. Uh, we have a new ornament for the Hazard of the Cast, which looks, yeah, that's awesome. I love it. I'll be grinding for that thing. Uh, we've got a full new armor set, some new emotes, but let me articulate this by going through what's in the Engrams themselves, and then we'll see what you can buy from Bright Does. So as you can see, this is the featured content, lots of new stuff. So if we go to armor, we have armor sets for all the new characters. And be sure when you get a piece of armor from Eververse, go in and check the perks. Some of them are pretty good. All right, so that's the armor set. Let's go into ornaments. Now we have a ton and ton of new ornaments. So we have the first one for the Skyburner's Oath, which is called Callus's Promise. And that looks okay. I could deal with that. I think it looks a little silly in my opinion. We've got a new one for the Mida Multi Fool. And I gotta be frank, I have not used the Mida in a very long time. Scout Rifles do need a buff, and I believe in the update today, they got a little bit of a buff, but the next update, they'll get a bigger buff, I think. I have to go back and read through the patch notes. Uh, we have this one here, the Ikelos Field Tuning Ornament. That looks really, really cool. And what weapon is that for again? That's for the Polaris Lance. I, you know what, when I saw Ikelos, I was like, you know what, maybe that is for the Ikelos Shotgun. No. All right, so Soros Regime is getting a new ornament. That looks really cool. What else we got here? Sorry if I'm going through this too fast. I don't want to make this like a 10 plus minute video. All right, uh, let's see. One Terrible Scream for the 1,000 Voices. That looks pretty cool. I still do not have that weapon. Two-Tailed Fox. I do not have this weapon either. The Cuddly Throwback. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Got some bunny rabbits on there. Next up, let's see. We went over the Ace of Spades already. Uh, Queen Breaker. And I'm, oh man, this thing's getting so annoying in uh, Gambit. All right, let's see. That looks really cool, actually. It's a bit yellow, but it looks cool nonetheless. What do we have here for the Prometheus lens? Let's see. What do you look like? All right. Uh, you have a little symbol or whatever that thing is right there. All right. That's kind of cool. We have, what else? Uh, I'm not going to go through all these because we'll be here forever, but one for the Hazard of the Cast. The well, actually, you know what? I, I want to see what the Trust looks like. Just because I love the Trust. I have the curated version. That's cool. I really want that one. What else we got here? We have one for the Bygones, one for the uh, Distant Relation. We've got uh, the Pillager. We've got the Parcel of Stardust. We've got the Dread Adventure. Let's see what this one looks like. Because that's looking kind of cool. That's a really cool looking ornament. I really like the fact that they added ornaments to the good old legendaries, not just, whatchamacallit, um, ex exotics. All right, aim is true. This, which bow is this for? No turning back. All right. Now, for exotics, we have for the young Ahamkara's spine. Let's see what you look like. You look cool? Well, you look a little cool. Not that much different. We have, for the Graviton Forfeit, I have not used this exotic in a very long time. That looks awesome, actually. But would it make me use the Graviton? No, because I love my beloved Orpheus Rig. All right, for the Doomfang Pauldron, let's see, Lordly Homage. No preview available, that's right, because I am on my Warlock right now, I think. All right, we have one for the Mask of the Quiet One. We've got the Sunbracers. All right, I'm on my Warlock. So, no, that's right. I, I'm on my Hunter right now. Yeah, because I keep trying to grind for the uh, Shards of Galanor. Luna Faction Boots now have a uh, ornament. Okay, that's pretty cool. What else do we have here? Let's move on to Ghost Shells. And we'll just quickly skim through these. All right, so a bunch of new legendary ones and a few exotic ones here. Speed Demon. We've got Banshee's favorite on that one. Guiding Light. Guiding Light gives you more XP. 
All right. And what about this one here? This one here, Treasure Hunter. Yeah, see, anything with Treasure Hunter I typically like because it will detect caches within a 50 meter range and also give you increased glimmer. So try to get this one. This might replace my star map shell that I use all the time uh, just simply because it looks cooler. All right, so that's it for ghost shells. We've got some new emotes. We'll check out the exotic ones. What do we got here? Uh, let's see. Let's take a look. All right, looks like you've got two sticks of dynamite. Uh, are you going to blow yourself up or are those supposed to be fireworks? Okay, that is that one there. We have the let's chat. Let me guess. He's going to pull up a chair. He pulls up a chair. He sits down. And okay. That could be a funny one after you kill someone in Crucible or you kill an invader in Gambit. All right, nothing is wrong. Let's see. Uh, this is another chair. Oh, no, this is a chair with a table, and he's having a good old cup of joe. Okay, that's kind of cool. What's the last one here? S'mores. Um, let's see. You're going to be cooking over a campfire, I think. Let's see. Yeah, okay. I can, I can deal with that one. I think the only one I like so far is, uh, I like that one. That's a funny one. All right, then we got a bunch of legendary ones. I, I don't want to waste your time in checking out all those. Sparrows, what do we got here? Do we have some new ones? Uh, all right, we saw that one already. This one <laughs> looks pretty funny. All right, uh, we could see that in the background. This one here, the Bronco. Oh, you look pretty cool, right? Yeah, that looks freaking awesome. What does it roll with? Destabilizers and a random mod right there. Custom drive. Okay, I like that one a lot. Let's see what else we have. We went through sparrows. I'm not going through the legendary ones. And we're going to move to ships. Let's see the exotic ships. This one here, does that look like something from Wrath of the Machine? The Nano Phoenix? That kind of looks like a mini Nano Phoenix. Maybe if you put the right shader on it, something red, it would look like a Nano Phoenix. We've got the ADA. All right, no, ADA, I think, is the vendor for the Black Armory. If you saw my stream earlier, yeah, that's got the markings of her all on there. She's an EXO, the ADA-1's Lone Wolf. All right, pretty cool. We have this one here. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I will butcher it, and you guys will make fun of me. All right, we got a little ship here, some cool colors. All right, let's move on to, all right, we got a whole bunch of legendary ones there. And moving on, let's see, shaders. Do we really care about shaders? All right, we got a bunch. Let's see, how many got? One, two, three, four, five, six new shaders with regards to Season of the Forge. And mods. Do we have new mods? That's right. They did say we are getting a bunch of mods, but they're not showing them here. All right, I think the new mods will be cut. Well, actually, the mods might be available. We'll go check Banshee in a second here. Anything else we want to check through that? All right, let's go and see what she's actually selling for Bright Dust. All right, so the Black Talon has a new ornament here. The, um, uh, let's see. And actually, you know what? I just got this last week. So I think I'm going to buy you, even though I never used. Well, actually, it's Void Burn this week for the weekly stuff. So, all right. Uh, the rest is all. All right. This one's new here. The Ska Dance, which I, I actually want to look at that one. All right. That's kind of silly. Am I going to buy it? No, I'm not. All right. So that is also new. Let's see. This is new here. Uh, armor. What do you roll? Oh, this one has Dynamo on it. You might want to buy this. Dynamo is a good perk. Yeah, reduces super cooldown when you're using a class ability, but they, they nerfed it a little while back so that enemies have to be close. You got uh, Arrow Scavenger, Primary Ammo Finder. Well, if you need boots with Dynamo on it and you're a hunter, well, this would probably have the same perk on it from whatchamacallit, if you're on your Warlock or your other thing. All right, did we... We went over this already. Yeah, we did. All right, let's move on to this thing here. All right, same old packages here. You got your bounties here. All right, before we get into the weekly stuff, let me check Banshee and see if those new mods have hit just yet. Because they did say in the Vidoc they're going to have some new mods. So, Banshee, give me the goods. Are you selling mods? What do we got? Paragon mod? Nope. And Backup Mag. All right, so I'm going to assume though uh, those new mods are probably going to hit next week. All right, let's get into the weekly activities and everything you need, that you can do this week to get powerful gear or exotics. The Flashpoint this week is over on Titan, so uh, you want to fly into Siren's Watch because you have a heroic adventure, and that gives you about 30 to 35% of your... Uh, weekly flashpoint for Sloan over here and also lost sectors will give you about 10% so if you do one of these do like one or two public events make sure they're heroic if you can there's one about to start right now and one or two lost sectors you will have your flashpoint done and you can get powerful gear from your flashpoint 
and also from the heroic adventure checking in with the vanguard we have uh what burn do we have we have void burn all right so we have well i'm sorry void singe and if you're new to destiny 2 these are your daily modifiers which will change uh, every day so this day is good because you have heavyweight heavyweight is one of my favorite ones power weapons deal more damage and more ammo is available so that is for your uh, weekly story missions. Do three of those. For the Vanguard Strikes, you need to do... Well, you have a daily one. So do one strike, you will get powerful gear. Do three, but you have to have the same light element as a team member. So when you go in, if you're flying... Uh, Flying in solo, check your teammates and make sure that you have the same element that they are. Even though it's void this week, you will run into people who are using solar or arc. This week for the Nightfall Strikes, we have the Warden of Nothing, the Hollowed Lair, and Savathun's Song. Let me know if you want me to make a guide on Savathun's Song. I need to do this. I need to try to grind for the Nightfall Strike exclusive weapon, which is an auto rifle called the Duty Bound. It's a pretty good auto rifle. It's static rolled. So you want to get a 100k score, and if you don't get it, you can grind it over and over once you get a 100k score. Uh, the Hollowed Lair is going to have a shotgun called the Mindbender's Ambition. I know a lot of folks like to grind this over and over to get the perfect roll in it to annoy people in the Crucible. Warden of Nothing has a hand cannon called Warden's Law. I believe that's another really good hand cannon. I think it's an aggressive frame. I don't have it up in front of me, but it could roll with some really good perks. So you can grind uh, these two over. Actually, all three of them have some pretty good Nightfall Strike exclusive weapons that you might want to grind them over and over for. All right, the Crucible, we got the usual Quick Play Rumble, and the weekly playlist is Lockdown. We've got uh, Competitive, and in the patch notes I saw today, Mayhem Clash will be returning. I don't have it in front of me, so I'm not 100% sure when it will be. Gambit, just go play three Gambit matches. We are in the new season now, so all your ranks have been reset. And also make sure you go see the Drifter over at the tower, because he will have a bounty that will give you powerful gear. And in the latest update, they buffed all of the rep that you get from uh, completing bounties with the, uh, with the Drifter. So right now, I've got not so much in this character. Actually, I do. Got one, two, three, four. yeah, I have a whole bunch of Gambit bounties. So, uh, according to the TWAB, go in, play one Gambit match, then cash these bounties in. Do not cash these bounties in as soon as you log in. Go play one Gambit match. I don't know why. K-Dub and I were talking about it on Guardian Radio. Play a Gambit match, then when you come back out, cash all these bounties in, and you will get a lot more rep. Oh, yeah, you can see they did buff them. 30, 30, this one's worth 100. Yeah, they buff the uh, amount of rep you get from these bounties. Uh, while we are at the tower, if you do 20, no, hold on, we want to go back to map. If you do 20 bounties all across the solar system, make sure you go see uh, Ikore. She will have some powerful gear for you. And make sure you go pick up the bounties from uh, Soraya Hawthorne, and she will give you powerful gear once you get 5,000 XP. Make sure you go see the spider over on the Tangled Shore. He will have a wanted bounty that will give you powerful gear and possibly an exotic. Also, he will have six bounties that will give you some enhancement cores. Well, each one will give you one enhancement core. For the most part, they're easy, so I would do them on all three characters. That will give you 18 enhancement cores. Also, if we go to the Dreaming City, it is the week three of the curse, which means, well, in Gambit, the meatball should be spawning. Also, the Shattered Throne is back this week. That is the three-man raid that is located. I always forget where it's located, but basically, I know the way to get there, but I don't know where it is on the map, actually. That is the three-man raid. I'll probably be doing that with my friends this week, but yeah, go see Petrovenge, do those bounties if you want to get uh, some more powerful gear. So I think that's going to do it for the reset video, guys. I'm excited, man. That Vidoc, I will link, um, I did a stream before just going over everything we played the Vidoc a few times oh wait I forgot I still have a package from Miss Tess Everest right here and maybe it's a free Engram let's see let's grab it and no milestone updated hold on let's check out let's see complete an Eververse bounty all right that's cool hold on let's see is it going to give me anything new no, nothing. All right, guys. So, yeah, um, check out my stream from before. I timestamped it if you want to see the new Vidoc explaining what Black Armory is going to have, as well as what's going on for the rest of the year. It, it, it's going to be a good year with the annual pass, guys. Uh, I, yes, I'm a shill. If you don't have the annual pass, I'd pick it up, guys. There's going to be a lots, of new, uh, lots of new weapons, lots of new exotics, lots of new content, lots of new endgame activities to do with the Destiny. And look, all these guys with their titles here. You know, to get the Gambit title, all I need is the ship and also the uh, Sparrow when it comes to uh, Gambit. Dredgen, 
So uh, safe to say I will be grinding Gambit this week a lot because I want that title. All right, that's it, guys. Leave me a hashtag, made it to the end, if you did make it to the end. And do me a favor, drop a like on this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter, at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually you know it's on YouTube. And that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir. Vladimir.